Hey, all Texas Garden Guy here, and about a month ago, we did some pomegranate propagations. And uh, I wanted to figure out which rooting hormone worked the best. So we did a side-by-side -side comparison with three different rooting hormones. We tried out the Technophora Root Tech Rooting Gel. We tried out the Clonex. And we also did my old go-to, the Bonide Rooting Powder. I also wanted to test the theory if stripping back the bark to the cambium layer actually made a difference. So here are the results. So it turns out all the rooting hormones work really well. Some work maybe a little bit better than others. There's always, there's obviously a bunch of factors that play in, uh, but let's go through them and check them out. So we'll start off with the Bonide. So this was the Bonide one that we stripped back, and this is the Bonide one that we didn't strip back. And you can see it's about the same. I've got six of them here, and they pretty much look exactly the same. I don't see any difference. Um, this was the Bonide rooting powder. This one looks amazing. I use the Bonide rooting powder uh, most frequently because it's really affordable and it comes in this uh, bottle with the powder and it gets a really nice coating. Uh, so I'm definitely impressed with the, the results I've gotten. Now this is the Clonex. This is that purple gel. Uh, I believe they use this mostly in the Canna industries. Um, I didn't get as good a results. I mean, obviously they're rooting, uh, but they're just not as strong as the other ones. Um, one of the things I've, I've heard is because I dip the cutting into the bottle instead of brushing it onto the cutting is that I might uh, have contaminated the gel, oh, almost butterfingers, um, but I still got good results. So I mean, 100% propagation rate is pretty dang good. And then the best results are from the Root Tech. I mean, this is the Technoflora uh, Root Tech gel. Um, th these, these look amazing. This is uh, Technoflora rooting gel and let's check that out uh, this stuff uh, i've never used this before i literally searched on amazon uh, rooting hormone and this is one of the top things that came up um, so i'm really impressed with this it was a little more expensive uh, i'll put the prices of all three in here uh, but it works really well i mean all, all yeah i mean all all six of them are doing really well and i tried to use about the same size cuttings with all the propagations. And apparently it didn't matter whether I cut them or not. Um, and it didn't matter whether I used either of the rooting hormones. And I know some people don't use rooting hormone at all, which is fine too. Uh, I've done comparison tests with those as well. Uh, if y'all wanna see the video where I actually did the propagations, I'll put a, uh, a link to it up here, a card to it up here. Um, but I'm really impressed with these propagations. Uh, I mean, you can see how little it was and how much growth is on this. Uh, pomegranates are one of the easiest things I have found to propagate. Uh, I've got two pomegranate trees and I've done a bunch of cuttings and they all do really, really well. Uh, so I will put links to all the rooting hormones that I use uh, so you can find them. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all in the next one.